Hey, what's up, everyone? Jonathan Allen here at Floodwater Studios, and today we are hopping back into Studio One once again. We have created our session. We've checked out the mix screen. Now we're going to talk about setting some levels, and we're going to record something. Let's hop into that. Hey, what's up, everyone? Last week, we went through the mix screen on Studio One, kind of going through the basic settings and options that you see here. Essentially, what you need to know to just kind of get going. Um, So today, like we said, we want to set some levels and we want to record something. And, you know, we've gotten this far. We've got a basic song um, with different tracks set up. And now the next step, we just need to get it going and we need to get a song in the computer. So tonight we do have Eli here in the studio and we are going to go through setting some levels and then we're going to start recording a song that we are going to release as a single at the end of this series. So let's start those levels. So one of the first things we want to do is get the microphone set up for the guitar itself. I tend to go about six inches or so away from the neck of the guitar, right around the 12th fret. That helps you get a pretty good balance of low end and top end on the guitar. The low end's not overpowering, uh, but we can still clean up some of that mud in post also, but you still get the brightness for the guitar, especially with the finger pick style uh, that Eli's doing here tonight. So if we hop back into Studio One then, what we do is we're going to check these levels exactly where they're coming through. So I like to record pretty conservatively. Right now you see it's right around negative 24 dB. That gives us tons of headroom to get up to um, the loudness that we're looking for, essentially. So now everything in Studio One looks good volume-wise. And then on the interface, I do have it set uh, right around 2 o'clock-ish for the actual gain knob on the interface. You can see with the levels popping up on the interface itself, still very, very conservative here because we can always make things louder. But the last thing we want to do is clip something while we're recording uh, because that will throw in that that digital noise um, that you can't get rid of in post. Um, So we we don't want anything to clip. We can always make things louder. We can always adjust things uh, in post. But if it's too loud, that's where we're going to have an issue. So now let's go ahead and actually record something. So we're going to pop in here and get everything set up. Now the next thing we want to do is get to the track itself. And we're going to go up and choose the input option for our interface. Uh, Input 2 is my microphone that we have set for the guitar. We record enable, as you see, and then we have signal coming through. Again, around negative 24 dB. And then as soon as we're ready, we're going to hit that record button down there. Things are always changing when songs come into play. So we actually, uh, Eli had made the decision. He wanted to add a section here. Essentially, we're going to repeat the verse. And that's going to give us more of just a, a little bit of a jam session, bring in some more instrumentation when we start to record more things, um, give a break in the song, and then end with that last chorus uh, after that. So this is what we call cutting in. So when I go to cut somebody in, what we're doing is we're trying to find where we need to restart the recording. So as you can see here, we are actually going to come in right after... Uh, that big note that's played and essentially it's starting on the G right there. So we're going to pop right back in there. So as we start to record, I will start just playing back 
with spacebar. When I hit that section, that's when I hit the star key and we can start the recording again uh, over top of what was already done. So it writes over that. All right, so we've recorded the guitar. So here we want to start recording some vocals also. So again, uh, for vocals, we use our Spirit, uh, Aston Spirit microphone, and we set that one over here. We're going to stop the record enable for mic two, because we're done with mic two. We're going to pop over, choose input three on our interface. That's where the Aston set up. Record enable that, and then we're going to start recording some vocals here. And you know what? Vocals can take a couple takes. Uh, we'll skip ahead to the to the take that we uh, we stuck with. I think our flaws are what makes us be the people we were chosen to be. Your favorite color, that old porch swing. The places that we used to meet As I grow, my heart starts to show The places where I want to be As long as the place I'm at Is with you, my love will see So this was just a quick snippet of the whole process that goes into that setting levels and recording, uh, but the basics are there. The, the meat of it is there. You can record at conservative levels. You don't have to record as hot as you can because you don't want to clip things. You want to make sure that you have some headroom that you can go up if you need to and you can get to where the sound should be uh, without causing any digital noise for things. Now, as this song progresses through the coming videos, uh, we're going to be adding to this recipe of a song and producing it out and really diving in and having some fun with this thing. In fact, next week, we're going to be talking about some virtual instruments. So if you guys have any questions or comments, throw them down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you see that video for next week and any other content that we do put out. Uh, we're having so much fun. Thank you guys for joining us, and I hope you have a great day, great evening, weekend, what, whenever you're watching. I hope you enjoy it. Have a good one. It's the thing that I aspire to be. No control, broken free. My heart will fly to its dreams. So hold my hand, I'll take you.